Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I am going to explain you types of semiconductor material. In my last video, I have explained you how we have classification of solid material. We were been having three categories, conductor, semiconductor and insulator. And I have already explained how energy bands are there with material in my last video. In this video, I will explain you how semiconductor materials are there. So, when you want to classify semiconductor material, then there are in general two categories. Intrinsic semiconductor material and extrinsic semiconductor material. Intrinsic semiconductor material is a pure semiconductor material. Pure means there is no impurities added with semiconductor. While with extrinsic semiconductor material, we add some impurities. Let us try to understand basics first. After that, I will explain you how impurities are added and what will happen based on impurities. So, see with intrinsic semiconductor material, we are having pure semiconductor material and you need to understand one thing. See, with pure semiconductor material, we will be having lower conductivity compared to extrinsic semiconductor material. How we can have lower conductivity? That even I will explain you. But first of all, you need to understand what is pure semiconductor material. If you observe one example of silicon, then silicon is pure semiconductor material. In silicon, in its outer orbit, there are four electrons and those four electrons are connected with their neighbor atom. If you consider this silicon that is having, let us say these four electrons are there, right? You can observe here, four electrons are there. So, these four electrons are connected with covalent bond. You can observe, see these four electrons of this atom that is connected with covalent bonds with their neighbor atom. So, you can say all the electrons are connected in covalent bond structure. And as all the electrons are connected in covalent bond structure, you can say here there is no free charge carrier in pure silicon. And pure silicon that is referred as intrinsic semiconductor material and it is having lower conductivity. I will show you why it is having lower conductivity. See, at zero Kelvin temperature, there are no free charge carriers. And as there are no free charge carriers, conductivity will be less. But as you increase the temperature, there is a possibility that electron holes pair that will get generated. Let me show you how it will happen. If you observe here, see, here we are having electrons, right? These are connected in covalent bonds. So, as if I say this electron that is getting out of this covalent bond and let us say this electron become free. Let us say this electron become free. So, what will happen? Here, here there will be generation of holes. Here there will be generation of holes, right? So, as you increase the temperature, it is possible this covalent bond, this covalent bond that will get break and as if covalent bond is getting break then free electron will get generated and at this place there will be hole right so here there is electron hole pair generation as if you increase temperature at zero kelvin there is no free charge carrier but as you increase temperature free charge carriers that will get generated over here right it has equal number of free electrons and holes why the reason is all the electrons are connected in covalent bond. If one electron is getting free, then there will be one hole, right? See, electron is having negative charge, hole is having positive charge. That is how we consider things, right? So, here equal number of holes and equal number of electrons will be there. It has negative temperature coefficient. Now, what is the meaning of negative temperature coefficient? See, here if you increase the temperature, if you increase the temperature, then resistivity will go down. Why resistivity will go down? If you increase the temperature, free electron hole pair that will get generated inside material. And as if you have free charge carriers in the material, then that its resistivity that will go down. Right. So, here with intrinsic semiconductor material, we have negative temperature coefficient. What it means? If you increase the temperature, free charge carrier will get generated and because of free charge carriers, resistivity will go down. Here some basic examples that I have written. With intrinsic semiconductor material, we can have silicon and germanium. 
widely this two semi this two semiconductor materials are widely used practically silicon that you will be observing most of the chips are using silicon right here let us discuss about extrinsic semiconductor material first see in pure semi semiconductor material if we add impurities then it will become in extrinsic semiconductor material right see due to impurities it is having higher conductivity i'll show you practically how it will be having higher conductivity right now just consider due to impurities extrinsic semiconductor material will be having higher conductivity here impurities will define number of free electrons and holes i'll show you that even how it will define it here we are adding impurities in the unit of ppm part per million so in terms of ppm we add impurities see for example part per million means as if i say 1 ppm impurity is added then one atom of impurity that we added per 1 million of pure atoms that is how unit is there right and basic example of extrinsic semiconductor material are n type and p type now i am going to explain you how impurities are added and how n type and p type material is there so if you observe basic silicon structure that we have now in this basic silicon structure with n type material we are adding pentavalent impurities so here if you observe here i have added phosphorus impurity and phosphorus is having phi phosphorus is having phi electrons in its outer orbit usually with silicon how many electrons are there with outer orbit four so here additional electron that we are adding right so four electrons that will get combined with this covalent bond but one electron that will stay free over here so in n type material in n type material we add pentavalent impurities pentavalent impurities means phi electrons in its outer orbit with silicon we have four electrons in its outer orbit so as you add phi electrons impurity pentavalent impurity so you will be adding free electrons so as you add impurities over here you are adding free charge carriers right and as you add free charge carriers what will happen obviously conductivity will increase right i have told you you see intrinsic semiconductor material is having lower conductivity why the reason is by default free charge carriers are not available but in extrinsic semiconductor material we add impurities that leads to higher conductivity why the reason is in pure silicon in pure silicon if you add pentavalent impurities it will add free electrons right in p type semiconductor material we add trivalent impurities trivalent impurities means three electrons will be there in its outer orbit so what will happen if you observe here i have added aluminum so aluminum is having three electrons in its outer orbit silicon structure is having four electrons in its outer orbit so what will happen one electron space will be vacant over here and that is referred as free hole over here so as you add trivalent impurities in p type material you are adding free holes and in n type material you are adding free electrons so practically we are adding free charge carriers that leads to higher conductivity in extrinsic semiconductor material like n type and p type right now let us discuss about some basics of n type and p type see in n type we add pentavalent impurities means in its outer orbit five electrons will be there so with every impurity one free electron is added and that's why it is also referred as donor impurity donor impurity means here we are donating one extra free charge carrier as electron right here impurities can be from from group of phi like phosphorus and antimony so in n type semiconductor material practically we add phosphorus and antimony here majority charge carrier with n type that will be electrons why the reason is number of impurities will leads to number of free electrons so here with this material majority charge carriers will be electrons and as you increase the temperature some electrons will go out of this covalent bond and it will generate electron hole pair that may leads to holes but minority carriers will be holes over here with pure semiconductor material with pure semiconductor material electron and holes are equal but with n type semiconductor material we are adding additional impurity with additional electron so here majority carriers will be electrons 
and minority carriers will be holes. Now, when you want to understand how p-type semiconductor material is there, then in p-type semiconductor material, we add trivalent impurities, which is having three electrons in its outer orbit. And because of that, what we do, we are adding additional free hole. Means electron space is vacant. That is referred as free hole, right? As if electron space is vacant, that is referred as free hole. So you can say here we are adding free holes over here with impurities. And this is also referred as acceptor impurity. Why it is referred as acceptor impurity? The reason is this hole, this hole is having tendency to accept the electron. This hole is having tendency to accept the electron. That's why it is also referred as acceptor impurities. Some examples that I have listed here, impurities from third group that could be aluminum or boron, right? So here we can have third group impurities like aluminum and boron. Here majority charge carriers will be holes as we add trivalent impurities over here and minority charge carriers, those are electrons over here and those minority carriers can be generated because of covalent bond is getting break due to some reason. Now, if you want to understand how covalent bond is getting break in any semiconductor material, then all you need to do is you need to increase the temperature. For example, if you apply heat, if you apply heat to this material, then these electrons will break covalent bond and it will get free. So as if electron is getting free over here, it will generate electron hole pair, right? There is one another way by which you can have breaking of covalent bond. You can apply higher potential difference in between two terminal of material by which we can generate electron hole pair. And third way is by applying higher electric field through the material. If you apply higher electric field through the material, then also you can generate electron hole pair over here. So this is how basics are there with semiconductor material. I hope you have understood this. Still, if anything that you would like to share, please note it down in comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.